All right, guys, today we're gonna to be scanning this pair of DJI FPV goggles. Now, some of you have probably seen these that have become really popular over the last few years with the digital video transmission systems on all the drones out there. A lot of you have requested a, you know, a 3D scan to make mods and stuff like that. So uh, this is my pair. I love flying FPV drones. A lot of the guys here at the office actually got into RC and then 3D printing and now 3D scanning. So we're gonna scan this with the Einscan Pro HD right here here in turntable mode. I'm gonna show you sort of how this will scan by itself with no markers and no sprays or anything. And then I'm just gonna dab it with the A sub spray to show you how much better it picks it up. So we're just gonna dive right in to show you the workflow. Uh, we've got a lot of videos on 3D scanners, everything on the website of visionminer.com. So if you wanna get more of the technical details or a bunch of other examples, definitely go to visionminer.com and check that out or subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I'm gonna take this off because it's gonna move around a little bit and I just want the rigid stuff on here. And basically, I'm just gonna set it onto the turntable. I've got my scan software here. And I'm gonna select fixed scan. That's gonna give me the turntable mode. Create a new project, FPV goggles. I'm gonna do a non-texture scan because I don't have the color pack. The light comes on. And I'm gonna go with the turntable, the coded targets, eight rotations should do perfect. And then I'm literally just gonna hit go. And we're gonna see what this picks up. Now, if it doesn't pick it up well, that could be a few things from being at the wrong angle. It may need to be higher, lower, closer, a little further away, but this is pretty well tuned in. And it seems like it's picking it up pretty well right out the gate. All right, there we go, that's the first scan. Now, if I wanna continue with this, I can just flip it over, and we're gonna get those other angles that were missed. Just gonna hit go again. All right, so as we can see, it's actually doing a pretty decent job with this dark object. So now I can go back into the align mode. And there we have it. It automatically is going to align by feature. We've got our aligned 3D scan. All right, next and exit. Okay, so what data are we missing? We're definitely missing a little bit from the front, which is a little bit surprising. It looks like that area isn't much shinier, but it's a little more curved, so maybe that had something to do with it. But overall, it did pretty good for uh, being a dark object. Now you notice it didn't get any of the lenses on the inside because those are purely reflective. As you can see here, they are just glass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our can of Asa Blue and we're just gonna give this a light spritz in the troublesome areas. A Little bit on the inside. This is also gonna help reflect more light back so that it gets an overall better scan. This stuff really, really does work great. I'm gonna set it back down on here. All right, so we're gonna run this scan one more time with our sprayed goggles and just see how it works. We'll once again use the features so we don't have to worry about it seeing the coded targets or not, and it's gonna do its thing. All right, and you can already see from these results that this entire area got good data way better than the previous version. So I'm gonna just once again get rid of this extra data that I do not need, will not be using, and I'm going to delete that selected data, apply the edit, and flip the goggles over. I'm gonna add a little bit just the tops of those uh, antennas there where I missed it. And a little bit on that. And here we go again. And there we go. Now, as you can see, because I sprayed a little bit of A-sub on the turntable, it actually picked up that corner of the turntable, uh, but not to worry, really, really easy to remove. I'm just gonna go Boom, right about there. And delete that data, apply the edit, and then go straight into our alignment tool. Select group one, group two, align by feature, apply, and there we have it. 
So, as you can see, I mean, dude, it's got everything in here. It did not miss any spots or no dark areas. Uh, there are a couple here just on the antenna that we missed that does not have any A sub on it, so it had trouble with that. But we come into here where it really had trouble on the inside. And you're just going to global optimization. That's going to get rid of unnecessary points and extra points. And then I can say yes, good to go, and mesh the model. But we're going to do on watertight, just use all the standard settings and hit mesh model. All right, and here we go. We've got our meshed model. Very nice. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a Tyrannus controller and probably some other FPV drone parts. But uh, if you want to see those sooner, definitely leave a comment down below and let us know what other types of objects you'd like us to scan. We love the Einscan scanners. They've been easy to use, great support. Um, and we carry them all in our shop at visionminer.com, as well as this A-Sub spray. So if you're using a scanner, maybe you got an Artec, maybe you got a Faro, anything else, this stuff is magic, comes in handy. You can get this at visionminer.com slash A-Sub. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.